Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I wanted to come with you with a quick video of even more cards that I've made. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but cards are something that I can do quick and easy, and I just refuse to buy a card when I know that I can make cards for people. So, I just wanted to do a quick video. I won't go into as much detail about all the items that I use. I just basically want to show you the cards give you just a little bit of background and then if you want to know more about any one of the items that I use please give me a message and I will answer as soon as possible. So the first card that I have is um, just a basic simple card. It is a birthday card for my boss who will be turning 48. That's the 4-8. Um, and the paper is from My Mind's Eye 6x6 Life of the Party stack. And basically, I just uh, cut out um, letters and numbers and words from the paper pack and then pop dotted them. I did um, mount them on solid cardstock behind them and then put them on pop dots. The inside basically is just a basic... Uh, sentiment that says hope your birthday is filled with lots of friends family food and fun so that's the first card the second card is also for my boss his uh, work anniversary is coming up next week <coughs> excuse me so I decided to make him a card for that too I use my mind's eye paper which is the wood background paper in each of the corners here, I use brads that are shaped like screw heads. Um, this is a Tim Holtz die. And then for the sign, I just use cardstock. I kind of wish that I had used chipboard for it, but I use cardstock. And what I did was I put a thin coat of Tim Holtz Distress Crackle paint on there. I don't think I could get this well enough that you could see the detail, but it is a little textured. And then I went over it a little bit to change the color um, with some Tim Holtz Distress Stain. And as you see, the sign moves. And then for the iron part, I just went over it and brushed it with some glossy accents in the black. And that made it a little shiny and yet gave the cardstock a little bit of texture. So as I said, this is the anniversary card. And as you can see, it says happy retirement there. And I thought I would do a little joke for him. So it says happy retirement on the sign. And then on the inside, it says stop daydreaming and get back to work. Happy 6th FMA anniversary. So I kind of thought that was a little cutesy. So that's the second card. The third card is for one of my staff members who is celebrating her work anniversary. I believe it's 23 years that she will be there coming up. So I just made a card for her. Kind of simple. Um, I use the Anna Griffin uh, sentiment here that is on its dimensional sticker. I use flat back pearls and then I use the little flower pearl trim here on top of a sheer ivory and gold um, ribbon just stamped happy anniversary and then on the inside I use the Anna Griffin vellum sticker that says I appreciate you and then I will write a sentiment for her for that next I have a co-worker whose birthday is actually tomorrow so I did a card with her with the new uh, dies from Spellbinders I not sure what this one is called. It might be Magnificent Squares. Um, but it has seven pieces to it. And you get different. You can create different shapes. You can mix and match to create different types of cutouts. So all three of these pieces. The big piece. This kind of lighter frame. And then the center piece are all pieces that were cut out. And actually the center one here. The square had two pieces that you had to use to get that particular cut out. So I added um, flat back pearls and just put celebrate in the center. And then the inside of the card is an Anna Griffin vellum sticker that says, hope your birthday is full of surprises. The next is just another three by three card. Um, 
that I made and I used my mind's eye paper. I used little flat back pearls there, a little hard to see, but little flat back pearls and then felt flowers and paper flowers. So nothing on the inside, just a simple note card. But my last card is my absolute favorite card out of this group of cards. Um, this is a birthday card for my mentor. Um, her birthday is coming up and she is the kind of person who is very business-like, but yet she has her fashionable cutesy side too. So I decided to do something to be just a bit elegant, um, but yet still a little playful. So the background paper, although it's coming across as a black background, it's actually a gray background with white printing. And I stamped happy and birthday in the other corner there. Then I used Copic markers and Spectrum No R markers to um, color her in. This is a stamp by La La Land. And I believe the name of the stamp is Jocelyn. And so um, I colored her dress yellow, colored her skin, put a little yellow eyeshadow up there. Her um, hair is shades of blacks and browns with little hints of red in there also. Um, for her earrings, I actually used diamond stickles. Also for her bracelet here, I stickled that in, in uh, the diamond stickles. And then I used golden rod stickles for her shoes. Um, the ribbon is a pleated satin, satin ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I put a row of the bling in the black casing. I don't know how well you can see that um, across there. And up here, it's just a flat back pearl and a pearl buckle. And then on the inside, I used the Anna Griffin sticker that says, Wishing you sunshine, love, and laughter, not just today, but all the days after. So, um, that's the card, and I just actually really love the way it turned out. So, there are my cards, folks. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, you have a very great day and a very blessed day. Thank you again for watching.